Sean, D-type cakes is an industry standard. Correct. And I know Williams Warner is also supplying some D-type cakes, but you've got some nifty things going on here you want to tell me about. Yeah, I think it's really just for uh, hospitality customers that may not use these day in, day out, and it's really about when the, when the beer is finished in the keg, you need to remove what's called the spear, which has the, uh, the beer line from the keg for cleaning. There is pressure in the keg, uh, and if it's not removed the right way, you can end up with foam all over the face, and worse, you could end up with a spear flying out. So, so it's about safety, but it's also about food safety. I know exactly what you're talking about because I've been watching the ceiling a few times. Yeah. So how do you go about? Tell me about it. It's a finished keg. There may be a little bit of beer left in the bottom. Now, we use a spear removal tool, and if we use that by standing over the top here, we will release pressure, but because it's draining from that last little bit of beer, you can end up with foam in your face. So that's a Williams Warren specific tool? We've machined this tool, but that fitting there is industry standard. I would imagine the easy way to do it is just to turn it on its side though, because then it's not in the beer. And, oh, Hendrik, you're all over it. Okay, so that's it. So basically we're, we're engaging the tool. It's just giving it a turn, and you'll hear that gas coming out. So it's just let the gas come out. We've now released the gas, we're fine. So we can just and, and you can go ahead and you can actually unscrew it and yeah. get the spear out. So you're going to do that for yeah. us? Well, I can. I need to do it between my legs. It's, you, need to, you need to get some good leverage. <laughs> All right, you do yeah, that. You do that. <laughs> so I'm just turning anti-clockwise. There you go. Now you can clean it. No mess, no fuss.